heat up yet. So I'm actually going to bring this around to this side so it's out of the heat a little bit. Okay, so I was talking about the advantages to how the firebox is fed. The problem that other stoves have is in the feeding process, whether you're feeding it down from the top or whether you're feeding it through the side, sometimes what will happen is in the, act, in the act of feeding it, you're actually crushing the hot coals, compressing the hot coals, and uh, you're losing efficiency in the airflow that the stove is capable to provide to those hot coals. See, in the way that the firebox feeds is you're setting this fuel in from the top and it just sets on top of your pile of hot coals. So you've got your hot coals, you kind of feed them in on an angle from both sides and they end up crisscrossed, your, your fuel, but then they burn into coals and they stay in this configuration because you're not, you, the act of feeding it is not crushing them you know, you're not pushing on them, you're just setting a, another fresh fuel on top of them. And so that's why I would recommend with the firebox, only stir the fire if it's absolutely necessary and generally it's not necessary. I forgot to get my ash pan in here. So, yeah, you want to keep these coals as loose as possible. So if you get in there and you stir this around, you're going to compress that coal bed and you're going to make it more difficult for the air to travel up through up through and uh, and into your fire. I mean we still have air passages to get in from the sides but really what I've learned with all my testing is the best ventilation comes directly from the bottom and that's the way you are able to burn your hot coals all the way to ash allowing for more fuel to fit in the fire and that only becomes really necessary if you're burning in it you know for a longer time if you're only going to be running it for 10 15 minutes then hey no big deal it's not that it's not that important um, but with the firebox it's kind of nice to run for a while because it's your campfire you know and I don't like to just have a campfire for 10 15 minutes so, and neither does anyone in my family, so. Anyways, let's just go ahead and let this run here for a while. We're probably not going to get a whole lot of action on the charging until this water starts to boil and everything has to kind of heat up. So we'll just let that uh, run here for a while. One of the obvious advantages that the firebox does have over some of the other stoves, I think I'm just going to go ahead and rotate this around like this. I just want this handle and everything to stay out of the flame and the breeze is pushing everything back. So, But a big advantage in how the firebox is fed through these sides it's just the fact that you don't have to lift up your pot so you know you don't have to change what you're doing and even if you're stirring or messing with your food that you're cooking you know it's really easy to just pop fuel in there as you go you don't have to interrupt your whole process <laughs> 